Happy Sabbath, everyone. Hi, Mr. Classy. Okay, Blessed is rejoining. Um, we'll start just now. Hi, blessed. Oh, that's beloved. Hi, beloved. <laughs> okay. I don't know if anyone can hear me. Hi, Mr. Classy. Hi. How are you doing, sweetie? I'm doing fine. Great. Long time, house, school, house, home, and everything. It's okay. Okay, all righty, welcome. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else will be joining us, but I know Blessed and Beloved are here. So if no one else will be joining us, we'll just begin and they'll find that started already. Okay, uh, Mr. Classy, could you please pray for us? Okay. Yeah. Let us close our eyes and pray. I think my new father, I have pride in heaven. Thank you, thank you for the day of giving us, Lord. As we're now starting our session, please guide us and please help others to, to come to our session. In the name of Father Jesus Christ, I do pray. Amen. 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 One minute.
All righty, great, great, great. So we are doing the book of, but yeah, I don't know if you have your Bible with you. If you have a Bible, okay. Yes. Okay, we are now in Matthew chapter four. And now in Matthew chapter four, so we've done chapter one, two, three, and now it's chapter four. So I usually assign others to read um, parts of the chapter. Um, I don't know if beloved or blessed network is stable, they haven't responded. So we can just try and do it, the two of us. Is Ndaba with you and can Ndaba read? If not, then I can give you and myself Bessie Street. So um, we're going to do chapter four, verse one to 11. So please just, um, I'll ask you to read. Um, okay. Okay, someone else is joining in. So I'll also assign them verses. So you can read from verse one to verse, um, to verse five. You can read Matthew chapter four, verse one to verse five. Miss Yaya, is that you? I don't know if that's Miss Yaya. I'm thinking it is. Okay, so join in. So Matthew chapter four, we're talking on the temptations of Jesus. Okay, Mr. Classy, please go on. You're reading verse five to verse one to verse five. Okay. Uh, verse five. I mean, Matthew chapter five, verse one to five. And chapter see, four. Oh. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward he was hungry. Now when, now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, it, it is written, men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took, took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and and say to him if you are the son of god throw yourself down for it is written he shall give his angels charge over you and in their hands they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone Jesus said to him, It is written again, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Again, the, the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain, exceedingly high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And their glory. And he said to him, All these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Away <coughs> with you, Satan, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him, him only you shall serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and min ministered to him. Mm -hmm. Now, excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Santi, for the excellent reading. Um, Miss Yaya, is that you written Lydia Spanner? 
Okay. Yes, Auntie Let's... Mara. Hi. Hi, Auntie Mara. How are you doing? Fine. Great. Did you hear our story for today? No. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. You were here when Kasi started teaching. How did you not hear you? I heard starting to read, but I didn't hear what you was, which story and which chapter you, you was reading. We're on chapter four now. Chapter okay. four of the book of Matthew. Please get your Bible. Because that's what we want okay, to do. So get your Bible and chapter four. Okay. Okay. Hi, Mr. Blessed. Okay. Okay, let's wait for Miss Yandy to come through and then we can proceed. Okay, welcome, blessed. We're reading Matthew chapter four. And yeah, that's what we'll be discussing tonight. So if you have your Bible close by, please do get it. We're on Matthew chapter four. Okay. All right. Um, okay, Miss Yandi, you're back. Please read Matthew chapter four for us, since you did not hear anything. Um, probably blessed didn't hear much as well. So please read Matthew chapter four, verse one, two verse. Um, to verse 6. And then if this is able, he'll read verse 7 to 11. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward he was hungry. No one, no one the came to the city of God. Command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Men shall no, not live by bread alone, but by every word that crosses from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him, him up into the Holy City set him on the pinnacle. pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written. He, he shall give his angels you over you and in their hands they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um blessed, can you read verse seven to eleven? 
if you're there. Sorry? Again. I was saying, can you read verse 7 to 11? Okay. Sorry? Judge me okay. not that we do not <coughs> judge not that we do not judge. So within that judge we shall be judge in with what measure you blessed you're reading mm -hmm. chapter four of Matthew. Oh. I thought you said chapter seven. No, chapter four, verse seven. Jesus said unto him, it is written again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, the devil take him up into a exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, and said unto him, All these things will be given to thee, or thou wilt shall fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said unto him, Let thee and Satan fall into Jesus, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. And in only short thousand. Listen, then be careful. Leave it in and behold, and the old angel came and ministered unto you. Excellent. All righty. Thank you so much, everyone, for um, the wonderful and beautiful reading. Who would like to give us a summary of Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 11? What are we talking about? What are the main points that are coming out from the verses we just read? Yes, Miss Yaya? <laughs> okay, let's give Miss Yandy time to unmute herself. Um, okay, so we'll come back to Miss Yandy. Um, yes, blessed. Um, I the main point Jesus was tempted by the devil over and over again. He was tempted three times. The devil was using the devil was using some of the verses in the Bible to tempt Jesus, but Jesus, but Jesus told him back to the truth of him. Because mm -hmm. if some verses you don't understand them, you should not like take care of them. Like when somebody when when they say this, which is hard to understand, or it says something that you know people say it is in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You have to study more after this. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much, Blessed, for that. Blessed is raising an important point that the devil used verses to tempt Jesus, and Jesus responded with verses we know boys and girls that in the last days people are going to come with reasons why husbands should be allowed to marry eight wives why we should eat pork why people should worship on any day they want to worship why people should dress anyhow that they want to dress but blessed is saying that we shouldn't just take a verse on the surface and say okay this is what it means we need to study it to compare scripture with 
scripture, line upon line, precept upon precept, to understand what God is saying. So don't be confused. If you hear a pastor telling you that it's okay to worship on Sunday, it's okay to be unkind, it's not important to love your neighbor, don't be confused. Just remember that the same way the devil tempted Jesus with verses, pastors will also deceive people with verses. But we need to ask God for wisdom. Excellent. Thank you so much, Blessed, for that. Um, yes, Miss Yandi, your hand was up, ma'am. I wanted to say that God can also tempt us by the things that we like. Okay. The devil can tempt us with things that we like. Uh-huh, uh-huh, great, great. That's very true, Miss Yaya. I think that the devil uses things that we like and things that we need. Remember, Jesus had been hungry for some time. So most certainly at this point, he really loved and needed food. But he needed to say, no, no, no. Um, whatever the Lord has said, this is what I will do. So when we like something, but God has said you can't have it or you can't have it now. Um, we need to wait and trust in God. So like what Mr. Ayah said, even though you like something so, so much, if it is not the time that God has said you should have it, then you can't have it. Say you're supposed to eat your breakfast at 6.30 or 7, and then have your lunch at 1, and then have your dinner at 6. If you see, um, what's your favorite food, Mr. Kathy? What's your favorite food? Rice. Okay. And Mr. Ndaba, what do you like? Spaghetti. Oh, interesting. So say you're supposed to have your rice in the evening, but then it's around 3 p.m. and then you see that there's some rice that's right there. You're tempted to say, ah, let me just have this rice right now. It's good. You like it. It's healthy for you. But it's not yet the time. The time that you should be having it is 6 p.m. And so the Lord wants us to develop in our mind the ability to say, no, it's not yet time for this, even though I like it. The time has not arrived. This is what Jesus was able to do, to say bread would be great. But at this point, I'm supposed to be praying for Ndawa. I'm supposed to be praying for Paida. I'm supposed to be praying for Blessed. Therefore, I can't eat right now. So like what Miss Yandy said, when the devil tempts us with things that we like, some temptation might be TV, you know? You might really like TV, but there are certain things that, you know, ah, I shouldn't be watching this. The devil might tempt you with it. What are the temptations might the devil bring to young boys and girls? Um, give us examples. Let's hear from Miss Pida. Then, okay, Miss Yandi has a hand up. Miss Pida, please give us an example of what the devil could tempt you with. And then we go to Miss Yandi. Miss Pida Chigume. The devil might tempt us by um, making us do what he wants us to do. Like what? Like okay, Miss Pida is thinking, so we'll come back to Miss Pida after Miss Yandi. Be thinking of something like what? Yes, what he wants you to do, like what? Yes, Miss Yaya. Then Mr. Ndaba, I don't know if that's Ndaba or Kasi with their hand. Oh, that's Kasi. Then Mr. Kasi. Yes, Miss Yaya. Um, what I think is that God can, I mean, the, the devil. devil can tempt, the devil can tempt us with places that we like, like when there's something that's something not for our age that is at that place and we like that place and the devil tempts us, that the devil tempts us to go there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very, very true. Don't know if I should be giving an example of what I did one time. 
but probably it wouldn't be best. Um, so that's very true. The devil does tempt us with such things, but it's important for us to remember that the Lord wants us to overcome those temptations, even when the devil comes to young minds. Miss Pida, then Mr. Classy. The devil can tempt us also by, by keeping us away from God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so he brings a lot of distraction. Sometimes even though school work is good, you end up so exhausted. It's like adults and they go to work, but sometimes they're just so tired when they come back from work. They can't study their Bible. They can't pray as much as they should be because you're exhausted. So work in itself is not bad. But then the devil just introduces a lot and lot and lot of things that just bombard your day and you are exhausted. So we need to be deliberate to say, Lord, protect me from the distractions that the devil brings. Some which are not bad, some which are extremely bad. May I remain faithful to you. Thank you so much, Miss Pahida, for that. Yes, Mr. Classy. God can turn us by stealing. Like if you go to the shops and then you see so many wonderful toys, then mm -hmm. the devil tempts you to steal the toys. And, yeah. steal, and, then, and then you can see delicious food that you really want, but your parents don't have enough money to buy it. Then the mm -hmm. devil tempts you to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's very true. So, you know, Mr. Classy is saying sometimes it's things that we can't have, even though we want the devil tempts us to say, ah, there's another way. Even though God says that's not a good way to get it, we just end up doing it to get it. Um, some adults, you know, they might want some money or a business, then they have to pay do you guys know what corruption is? What's the Ndebele word for corruption? I'm trying to think of what. What was I told? I was told the word for corruption. Like the money that you pay someone. For example, I don't know if that's a good example. I think it doesn't happen in Zimbabwe anymore. Yeah, it doesn't happen. A long time ago, like maybe 200 years ago, or maybe the police officers who would stand in the road and then say to people, ah, okay, you haven't done this to your car, so you need to um, pay a fine. And then if the person says, no, but I have $5, let me just pay this $5, then you can buy yourself a drink. The police officer would say, okay, you can go. That's, that's money that you give. I'm trying to think of the devil word for it. So some adults, the Lord says, you can't have this. You have to have it straight or in a very faithful way. But they will say, ah, oh, how about if I just do this once, then I'll stop next time. And then they'll have sinned against God because the devil will have tempted them. That's what Mr. Class is saying, that we shouldn't want things that we cannot get right now. If we can't get it faithfully, then we shouldn't be getting it at all, right? Um, so I think that's about it on the temptations of Jesus. So your assignment and your craft is very simple. I'm going to flash it on the screen, literally flash it, because I don't want you guys to copy the answers. I want you to copy the answers from your Bible. So I'm going to flash it, then you guys will see it and you need to fill in the papers um, using your Bibles. So that way, that's how you remember the temptations and they'll stick in your head. So remember the first temptation, Jesus said, uh, the devil says to Jesus, if you are the son of God, turn these stones into bread. The first temptation was on food. The first temptation was on the physical needs. Boys and girls, do you know why it said that if you overcome your appetite, you can overcome everything? It's because when you eat and you're so hungry, you just want to satisfy yourself at all costs. Now, there was a certain king. 
I won't tell you his name. You guys will need to find out. There's a certain emperor, rather. An emperor is almost the equivalent of king, um, a president, but a president, a lot of countries that he owned. So he was a king. I'll call him a king. Um, and he was fighting and getting nations. So say he was fighting in Zimbabwe, then he took the territory in Zimbabwe, then he fought in Zambia, then he took the territory in Zambia, then he fought in Malawi, and then he took the territory everywhere. And so now he was just left with one last part to get, but he got so, so excited. And that night he decided to host a party. And so at this party, he then began to drink alcohol and drink alcohol and he got so drunk and it overweight his liver and he died. And he was so young and he was on the road to being so successful in terms of earthly standards. You know, but because he could not overcome his appetite, he then died. So the Lord knows, remember Adam and Eve when they sinned against God, it was an issue of appetite. What they ate, I was reading where it was saying that they were not even hungry. God had provided enough food for them. But because Eve could just not control herself and her appetite, she was deceived. This is why she ended up giving into temptation. That's why in these days, God tells us to control our appetite. You know, if auntie is to start eating food that's unhealthy right now and starts indulging, say every day she's eating lots of sugar, lots of sugar, lots of sugar. No one will ever say or report auntie to the church board to say, ah, church board, you know, auntie is such a bad person, pastor. And he eats chocolate every single day. She does this and that. No one will do that. But it's a matter of auntie in her own heart saying, no, no, no. I will control my appetite. I will say thank you when I'm full. I will say no when it's something I cannot eat. So this gives auntie the power. It develops the habit in auntie to say, even if when no one is seeing her, when she's about to do a bad thing, she'll remember that, no, I have to control myself. So that's why it's important that we control our appetites. The second temptation was, what was the second temptation? Anyone to just shout what the second temptation was? Yes, I see people don't know. Excellent. So your craft will help you guys remember these things by head. So I'll give you guys time to work on it. I'm just going to flash it on the screen. Then you guys will see and we can um, work on it. So please check the screen, the main screen. Then hopefully I'll explain the other temptations next week after we've done this assignment and we know the temptations by head. It will then make sense to follow the explanations. So there are two crafts that I'm going to share. Let's go to the other one. Right, excellent. So there, huh? thank you. So look at it fast, fast, fast. You see there are three columns there. There's one, two, three, to say the first temptation, second temptation, third temptation. So as a way of example, the first one, there's a stone, and then there's an arrow that's saying, turn it to bread. And then the answer is saying, Jesus said no. So that's the example of what you're doing. You'll do that for the second temptation and the third temptation. It fits on your A4 paper. Perfectly. That's your assignment. I'm taking it down. Um, so let's see what you guys will have done. It's quite simple. You're just going to draw that. We'll draw a table with three by three squares. Then you put in the first square what the devil tempted Jesus saying. So he said, do this and turn it to that. And Jesus is one. Very simple. The craft is very simple, right? Does anyone have a question before we pray? Do we color the craft? Yes, please. Please do feel free to color it. And remember to send pictures. Yes, Miss Pida, your hand is up, ma'am. 
Do we draw the pictures? Yes, most certainly. Most certainly, ma'am. Any other question? Okay, so I guess it's clear for everyone. So you're going to write number one, the first temptation. Number two, the second temptation. Number three, the third temptation. Quite simple. You are allowed to copy from your Bible. You are allowed to copy from your Bible. Um, so there's a song that says, it starts by saying, seek ye first the kingdom of God. But we haven't done seek ye first the kingdom of God. That wasn't our first for today. So then it goes on to say, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's how you can master verse four of um of our lesson for today. So you just say, but he answered and say. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So I'm hoping next week everyone comes remembering Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. A very simple and beautiful verse. Okay, blessed hand is up. Please go on, sir. Listen. Okay, righty. Who would like to pray for us? If there are no more questions, who would like to give us a word of prayer? My. Who saved me? I wanted to say that I know the second second temptation. You know the second temptation? <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, okay, excellent. Great. So please just write it down. Great. So if you know the second and the third one, then you'll be done with the work in like two minutes. It's going to be so simple. Great. All righty. Um, Miss Pida, please pray for us. Yes. Please pray for us. Okay, let us pray. Thank you, God, for being with us. Please bless those who are sick. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for guiding us. And thank you for helping us be in this lesson. Thank you for teaching us some of the things we have learned. And thank you for giving us all the strength. And also, thank you for with everything and give us money to pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, we are done for today. So I'm hoping that you guys write down lessons or ask on lessons on the temptation. Oh, and we can share next week. Next week, the other verses in chapter four are very simple. They just tell us of where Jesus traveled to. So we don't have a lot of lessons from. We do have a lot of lessons, but probably we want to focus more on the temptations and what we can learn. So I'm hoping everyone will be there. Just choose one temptation. Choose one temptation that you want to share with your friends next week on. To say, I learned, I read, I was told that this temptation teaches us this and that. Do we understand? Yes. Okay, excellent. So that's what we will do next week. Everyone that's here will come and explain to us just one temptation that they want to dwell on. But for tonight, you're just finishing off that craft and sending it through. All righty, we've reached the end of our lesson for today.
have a good night. Is everyone okay? Are we happy? Is anyone sick? Or not feeling well, rather? Okay, everyone is healthy and happy. We thank God. Have a good night. Happy Sabbath. Uncle Leeds, home, please. Happy Sabbath to you. How do you do today? We'll sing together. I'll show you the way. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. I'll show you the way. Happy Sabbath to you. How do you do today? We'll sing together. I'll show you the way. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. I'll show you the way. Sing. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. I'll show you the way. Bye. Hi, mommy. How are you?